Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is Coach Asia, and today we're doing a full back and delt day, and we're specifically focusing on getting a pump. And so if you're looking to look huge or feel huge on your next upper body day, go ahead and follow this video and you'll thank me later. I am currently prepping for a bodybuilding show and so I am primarily focusing on the muscle growth, muscle mass, getting a nice pump every time that I work out. And so guarantee that you're gonna get a sick ass pump with this. I'm gonna get started on some stretches, so come on, let's go. So before we get into any sort of dynamic stretching, I'm gonna go ahead and warm up with a little TheraBand. It's very important to warm up any of the muscles that you're gonna be targeting in the workout, just so then you can prevent injury, and then also it'll be nice to get that pump going already. Feels good. Oh, all right. I already started to feel the burn with that. That's freaking weird, but that's okay. So, we keep going. Whew, already feeling the burn. I think that's good enough. Alright. Ooh. Ooh. Good girl. We used to work on her stretching a little bit more. Ooh. Feels good. Ooh. Spicy. Spicy. Just a good thing sometimes. Oh, I can feel it in my lap. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, we're going to do some dead hangs now. Stop swinging! Stop swinging! Ooh. Feels good on the low back. Oh yeah. Okay. That's enough. That's enough for me. That was pretty embarrassing, but we're done with that. Let's go ahead and do some face pulls. Hit the back a little bit, the delts. Get a nice pump going. Let's go. So What's gonna happen is, I'm gonna be doing four set total, three sets of 20 reps, and then the last set's gonna be 15 reps, but at 90% of RPE. So RPE nine, leaving only one rep in reserve. So pretty much still a failure at this point. And what number would I be at? So we're gonna test out 35 for right now, just to warm up.
okay? That was all right. And throughout this whole entire workout, we're only going to be resting for a minute in between each set. So keep that in mind in order to get that pump going and never resting pretty much, except for a minute. <laughs> Okay, we're lowering it. Started to lose my my uh, range of motion towards the end. So rest for a minute. Plug in the number. Going down to 30, 30 pounds. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because I really, really strive to have full range of motion for everything. Half reps are good for certain exercises and certain programs. Um, just depends on the day but here I'm focusing on getting full range of motion getting that contraction up and running so then you can get that full pump Okay, we're definitely lowering it down to 25 pounds for, actually, just kidding, because it's 15 reps for the next one, 90%. So I want to stick to 30 pounds. Obviously, as you keep going down the sets and you only have a minute of resting, the weight is going to feel a lot heavier over time, a lot heavier over time. And so, just keep that in mind, that's okay. But, I'm already getting a full pump already. I can feel it. it feels nice. So if you're doing the workout right, and you're doing the reps correctly, then you should already by now have a pump going up here. That's if you're doing it right. Okay. 15 reps. Okay, pretty much going good. All right, so for the next exercise, we're gonna do some straight arm cable pull down, making sure that we're hitting those lats all right back here. And for this one, it's gonna be five sets total. So for the first four sets, it's gonna be 12 reps at 70%. And then the last set is gonna be 90%. And we're gonna be increasing the weight as well. So. You're going to be dying for this one. <sighs> All right, we could go heavier for sure. I'm gonna go for 40 pounds this time instead of 35. Uh, probably, let's see, 35, rest for a minute, shoot for 40 pounds. That sort of shebang, uh, cool beans. We do 40 pounds. That one. <laughs> oh God. What? <laughs> 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 
Last set of the working set, 12 reps. I went down to, I'm gonna go down to 30, just so that I can control the reps more. Damn, that hurts. <laughs> Last set, drop. Wait, no, not drop set. So 90%. And then what's really important is that you can do half reps because we're increasing the weight for this last set at 15 reps and 90%. So that is A-OK -okay to do half reps. We're going to feel the burn for this one. So for the next exercise, we're gonna do some reverse pec deck. And I like to use the machine for this one, just so then we can keep that contraction going the whole time. And then for this one, it's gonna be four sets of 15 reps at 80%, okay? Keep that in mind. So we're gonna make sure we're going nice and slow for the reps. Don't try to rush them out. Unless I can sit and just like cross my legs over like this, I don't know. We'll see. No, <laughs> Damn, that was a rough one. Okay, 15 reps again. to go down and wait 35 all right third set baby okay 35 <sighs> God damn. <laughs> oh God. Okay. So by now, you should have the nastiest pump. You should. That is how it goes. If you don't, then, like I said, you're doing something wrong. You should have the nastiest pump for right now. And, oh, you should feel super duper swollen and tight. Oh God. Like where you can barely just go over the shoulder like this when you're trying to scratch the back or something that's how big you want to be you're tight you know what i'm saying okay but uh got the timer running got 14 seconds and about to hit the last set gonna try to stick to the 35 pounds gonna try to let's go Okay, let's do 
some straight bar cable row, low cable row, not high, low. Setting up is always the worst part, I feel like. It just takes unneeded time and energy away from the workout. Uh, about tripped over that again. Okay, so for this one, we are gonna be doing five sets total. So three sets of eight reps, and then two sets of 10 reps. The first three sets to 90%, and then for the last two drop sets from 60 to 30%. Hope that makes sense. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> All right, so for the next exercise, we're gonna do a wide grip lat pull down. And for this one, four sets of 15, but the last set will be a pause set. So five reps each time. You're gonna pause for about 15 seconds and drop down the weight or even increase the weight. Yeah, that should make you really feel the burn for this one. <laughs> So let's go ahead and get started with that. Um, I don't know what my weight would be. I'm gonna try out 70 pounds. We, we shall see how it goes. All right. <sighs> oh, good <laughs> Had to drop down the weight for that one, Jesus. So, the next one is gonna be 60 pounds for sure. Oh, wait. Oh yeah, 60 pounds. I wanna get to the point where I can just walk around like, I'm gonna mog everyone. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> or make it where I can't fit in between the door frame. Just kidding. Uh, I'm too petite for that, where I, I can't like, make it where I squeeze through. I just walk right through because I'm so small, but that's okay. Does it look like I'm huge? No? It's okay. Maybe way down the road. 
Way down the road. <laughs> I'm so short that I could just like swim around on equipment. It's really weird. Uh, anyways, two seconds. Let's go. Good song. Let's go, let's go. <sighs> Come on. <laughs> How was it? <laughs> Do 15 second rest in between each of those five reps to reach up 15. And so we're going to change that timer to 15 seconds instead. Okay, have it ready, open. We're going to get started. Okay. <sighs> All right. That's it for that crap. Uh. <sighs> okay. All right. So for this next one, we're going to target a little bit of the low back and then obviously the top of the glutes. So we're going to do some hip thrusts. I have to do this because with the category I'm shooting for, that I signed up for, for the competition, I'm doing wellness. And so growing the lower body and then obviously having that really nice defined back is super duper important. And so I have to do legs three times, three times, four times a week, something like that. Yeah. I think something like that. Yeah. Anyways. It's going to be 60% of 25 reps for three sets. I'm going to feel the burn for this one. Keep it at a low weight. So lower the weight and just focus on controlling the reps and feeling the burn. And you want to be able to feel it in the low back and the top of the boots. So let's get started. 105 pounds for this crap because I'm not going to shoot for a whole lot. We got some back extensions. For the next exercise and the last exercise, we're gonna do some back extensions, primarily focusing on the low back, building that bad boy up, defining it out. Uh, foot, uh, foot. Hopefully nobody saw that. Okay. We're gonna do two sets of 15, just body weight. 
focusing on control and really squeezing the low back when you are coming up. Control, control, control. I don't know if this fits me though. It's all right. Felt that one. <laughs> All right. Jeez. That's it. Now I have to do 45 minutes of cardio, but you don't have to do that. That's only if you're wanting to burn some calories and absolutely destroy yourself. But I would recommend 30 minutes of cardio four times a week, just so then you can keep that heart nice and healthy. But then also too, if you're looking to do fat loss, four times a week, 30 minutes on the treadmill, that sort of shebang. Uh, but for me, since I'm prepping right now, it's more so of uh, 45 minutes. Yay. But let's get out of here. All right. So I'm going to do max incline at 45 minutes, probably like a 2.4, 2.5 speed, something like that. I'm going to absolutely destroy myself. And yeah. I will record the after effect of doing 45 minutes of cardio at a max incline. So wish me luck and catch you in a little bit. Beep, beep. All right, done with cardio, feeling kind of dead. Uh, I got some major shin splints while I was walking the, the treadmill, which is okay. Uh, that just means I need to take a chill pill and rest, elevate, and ice my shins. Something like that. But I don't know if you could see a bit of the, pa the ba pump. I don't know. I don't know, but <coughs> I am so hungry. I have to eat some dinner, so I am going to stop the video here, but let me zoom in. I really hope that you liked this workout, and let me know if you ended up getting a pump with it. Super duper sick. Like I was saying uh, previously, if you're doing the exercises right, then you should feel a pump, and you should have gotten a pump, and can't really see it now with me just because I got the shirt on and everything. I feel more comfortable this way. But hopefully y'all had a fantastic pump and you enjoyed this workout. Let me know if you did. And like, comment, follow me on the IG. But yeah, tune in next time.